registered clinical scientist trained to work in various areas of technical and clinical pharmacy services. I currently work in radio pharmacy where we manufacture radio pharmaceuticals in a clean room. A radio pharmaceutical is made up of a pharmaceutical that's bound to a radioactive nucleide or radioisotope. The pharmaceutical part of the substance is responsible for the pharmacology of the radio pharmaceutical and will help it target a specific organ. The radioisotope will give off energy which will allow diagnosis or therapy. The most common radioisotope that we use in nuclear medicine is technetium 99N. This radioisotope is used because it has a number of advantages. It's relatively cheap and easy to use in, in, a, in a hospital environment. It also has a short six hour half-life, which means it doesn't remain in the body for very long. It, it gives off gamma emission, which is easy to detect outside the body using medical imaging, and it has a versatile chemistry, which means it combines to a number of different pharmaceutical ligands to form various radioactive traces. In a radio pharmacy, we use technetium 99M solution of the generator. This solution is then added to a vial which contains our pharmaceutical ligand. There are various pharmaceutical ligands that we add technetium 99M to to form various technetium 99M complexes. These are examples of technetium 99M complexes that we manufacture in a radio pharmacy. Technetium tetraphosmine is what we use to image the heart, and technetium mag3 is what we use to image the kidneys. When a patient visits the nuclear medicine department, they will be injected with a radio pharmaceutical which will target a specific organ. We will obtain a nuclear medicine scan which will look like this. We can then assess the uptake in the specific organ to assess whether the uptake is normal or abnormal and give the patient a diagnosis. In the radio pharmacy, it's important that we follow certain procedures in place to make sure that the radio pharmaceutical that we prepare has a high radio chemical purity. If the radio pharmaceutical has a low radio chemical purity, this will mean that there are high levels of free technetium 99M. Free technetium 99M, which is not bound to a pharmaceutical ligand, will accumulate in the salivary gland, the thyroid, and the stomach. This may result in an undiagnostic scan. Most radio pharmaceuticals are administered to patients by injection into the bloodstream. To minimise the risk of infection, the radio pharmaceutical must be prepared in an aseptic clean room which is designed and operated in a manner to control the introduction and retention of particles. It is supplied with filtered air through a HEPA filter that removes more than 99% of particles. The radio pharmaceuticals are prepared in an isolator which is a clean air device that protects the product from microbial contamination. To elute the technetium 99M generator, a vacuum filled vial contained in a lead shielded container is placed onto the generator. Technetium 99M, which is bound to an aluminium column inside the generator, will be drawn into the vial as the vacuum pulls sodium chloride solution through the generator column. To protect the operator from radiation exposure, the generator is contained behind thick lead shielding. To prepare the radio pharmaceutical, a calculated volume of technetium 99M is dispensed using a syringe which is placed inside a lead syringe guard to protect the operator. A needle recapper is used to recap the needle and protect the operator from the needle stick injury. The radioactivity in the syringe is measured using a dose calibrator. After the correct volume of technetium 99M has been drawn up, it is diluted to a desired final volume using sodium chloride solution. In order to comply with good aseptic dispensing technique, a fresh ampule of sodium chloride is used for each radiopharmaceutical. The solution in the syringe can then be added to the vial containing the pharmaceutical ligand. The vial is stored in a shielded pot as it will be radioactive after addition of the technetium 99M solution. It is important to equalise the pressure in the vial. The dispenser will then measure the radioactivity in the vial. The measured radioactivity will be recorded on the final product label and on the manufacturing record.